Please remember that the complete information for the class that you are about to view is at elithecomputerguy.com. Not only do we have our videos there, but we have part lists, diagrams, pictures, and even complete code examples. So if you are watching this video and you want more information, please go to elithecomputerguy.com. Welcome back. As you know, I am Eli the Computer Guy, and in today's class, I'm going to show you how to use the sticky position within CSS to keep an element of your HTML document on the screen while you scroll through the rest of it. So this might be important uh, if you're creating some kind of IoT platform, essentially to create to allow some information to remain on the screen while you're scrolling through and you're looking at different reports. So basically, all this uh, all this is is we're going to use the position uh, setting that we've used in the past. This time we're actually going to be setting it to sticky instead of relative or absolute. And in that way, uh, we will let an element of the HTML document remain on the screen while we scroll through the rest of the HTML document. There's not a lot to it, so let's go over to the computer and I'll show you how this works. Here we are at my demonstration machine. Again, I'm using a MacBook Pro and I wrote uh, these two uh, files using text edit. All you need is a basic ASCII text editor in order to do these projects. So if you're in the Windows world, you can use Notepad. If you're in the uh, Mac world, obviously you can use text edit. If you're in the Linux world, you can use Nano, Vim, Gedit, whatever you'd like. So I have two documents here. Basically, I have a sticky style.css and I have a sticky.html. So the sticky.html, this is the file that will open open in our web browser. And of course, this is the style sheet. Before I actually take a look at what I coded here, let's go over and take a look at the demonstration. And so this is the demonstration that I created. Basically, this is just a sticky example. Uh, what I've done here is I have created a div. I have set the background color to light gray, just so it's easy for you to, to see while I'm doing the demonstration. Uh, and then down here, I created another div and I dumped in a lot of nonsense information. So I have something to scroll through. Through. So again, uh, think about this where, again, if you're doing some kind of IoT platform, maybe you can have some current readings, some of the readings from your sensors here. Maybe you can have some specific information or specific links here so that when people are scrolling through the rest of the information, maybe they can go up here and just very easily click on the links. Again, this is the type of thing you have to be thinking about where there's a technical way to do something and then how you're actually going to use it in, a, in the user perspective or user experience uh, is something that you'll have to figure out. But basically all we're talking about here with the sticky position setting is I have this, uh, the sticky stuff, this will remain here as I scroll through the rest of the document. So again, I'm just simply scrolling through the rest of uh, this document. Again, these are just nonsense words, but this just goes to show you that this stays at the top uh, while you scroll through. So again, uh, you might use this for like some kind of header. So if you had a header here and then you had some kind of menu. So again, think about that IoT platform. I'm scrolling through I'm looking at different reports and then I could just easily go up here and click on a menu option to go to a different place within the platform that's been created that's the type of stuff that you can do with sticky so beyond that let's just go um, and take a look at the CSS first just to show you how the CSS for this works uh, basically I've created two classes for divs uh, the main one that's important is the sticky div so just period sticky div what I've done here is we we've used position in the past so for position you can have sticky you can have, you can have absolute you can have relative there's a number of different settings you can have for position all I've done today is I've simply set the sticky uh, posi uh, the position I'm sorry to sticky so what sticky does is sticky just simply makes it be right there. Uh, past that, I then set the, the position uh, for this particular div to the top at zero pixels. And then I've set the background color to light gray. And that is just so that you can actually see it. I originally set it to white. And white actually works fine, but it's just a little difficult. Uh, again, if you just go here, you just do white, you do file, you do save. Again, things to be thinking about from a user experience uh, standpoint. When you scroll through it and it's white, I mean, it works. It still works. It's still sticky, but it's a little, it's a little difficult on the eyes to determine what's what. So again, something like light gray is just an easy way just to be able to define what that particular div is. Uh, so that really all is 
all there is to it for a sticky div. Uh, past that, we go down to the main div. Uh, simply what I did for the main div is I've set the position to relative. What the position to relative does is it actually starts, it starts uh, the text underneath this initial div. Uh, why that's important is, uh, again, when you're using position, and position is important for different things. So if you're going to overlay text over an image, you're most likely going to be doing absolute. So it actually puts it in a specific place over an image. Uh, one of the things, though, is here, here, if I do uh, absolute for the position and I do file and I do save, what will happen is it actually moves everything up and it starts at the beginning at the zero pixel mark. So by doing relative, basically what it does is it looks at the other divs on the page and then it will start after those divs. So again, things things to play around with. This is this is the type of thing to, to play around with and see how it works for yourself. Uh, beyond that, okay, so we did position relative. We did uh, top zero pixels. So again, that basically just starts it right after that div. Uh, I put a margin of left of 10% and a margin of right of 10%. That just gives me a little bit there. Uh, past that, let's go and take a look at the HTML document just to see how this works. Uh, and again, there's really nothing to it. Basically, we have two divs, uh, and then we're just going to use those classes that we created. Uh, so we have here the head and the opening up the HTML. Uh, we're going to have the style sheet. We're going to point to the sticky style.css. So again, if the file is in the same folder or directory as the HTML document, uh, you can simply put the name of it there. If it is in a different folder or directory, you put the full file path. Uh, we're going to open up the body. Then the first div that we are going to create is we're going to create a uh, div for the sticky stuff. So again, think about this. This might be menu options. This might be a header. This might be sensor readouts, that type of thing. You know, whatever you want to put there. Uh, the main thing is, is you simply say that this is a sticky div. So I'm creating a sticky div. So the class sticky div will then go back and it will have the class of sticky div. The main important thing here is that you will have a position of sticky. Uh, past that, you're going to then close out that div. You're going to go down. We're going to create the main div. So the main div just has all of this nonsense text in it. So again, if you're creating some kind of IoT platform, this may be reports, this may be charts, whatever else. I just have this. Um, basically go down and we close the div. Uh, the only important thing here is again, we're using that class of main div. So it's going to be, uh, it's going to have a margin 10% from the left. It's going to have a margin 10% from the right. It's going to be a position of relative and it's going to start at the top zero pixel mark. Uh, and then from that, all you're going to do, again, you close the div, you close the body, you close the HTML. And with that, you get a little sticky thing. Again, this is one of those things that be, can be incredibly simple, absolutely, utterly simple to implement, uh, but can be very valuable for your particular project again to keep something at the top of the screen so people again menu bars sensor settings and that type of thing might be very valuable for your particular uh, project that you're creating and so now you know about the position of a sticky and why it might be important for you. Again, uh, playing around with that position attribute and giving it different values, uh, you can see what different things that you can do with the divs that you've created. Again, with relative, with absolute, with sticky, that type of thing. You can go in there, you can play around. And again, by playing with that, you might find something that's useful to give your end users a better, better user experience. Again, one of the important things I'll keep hammering into your head is it's not simply about printing information out onto an HTML document. It's also about putting it in a fashion that is actually useful to the end users. So again, having a menu bar at the top, having sensor readings at the top, having maybe just, just a heading. I don't know, again, maybe, maybe for a logo, your, your logo or something like that, just for a branding usage actually being able to use that sticky position uh, is something that could be very valuable for you in your project. So you just do position colon sticky, uh, then you start playing around and go from there. Um, as always, I enjoy doing this class and look forward to seeing you at the next one. If you like the content that I create, please think about going to elinethecomputerguy.com and becoming a member or donating. Please understand that all the educational videos are in front of the paywall. That includes the videos, that includes the notes, the diagrams, and the code example. All of that is freely available and in front of the paywall. But if you want to watch opinion videos or if you want to be able to comment, you do need to become a member. Membership is $5 a month or $60 a year and gives you access to those opinion videos and the ability uh, to comment. If you don't want to become a member, you just want to give a one-time uh, donation, there is also a donate button where you can do that. Please understand, in order to provide the education that I am, it does cost money. 
servers cost money, equipment costs money, travel costs money. All of these things cost a reasonable amount of money. And the fact of the matter is, is YouTube's advertising program no longer supports creators the way that it used to. So if you want to these classes to continue to stick around and you find them to be valuable, please think about either becoming a monthly member or donating a few dollars for this project.